So, I promised every one of you with a kitten room. This here is a real treat. It's Miss Mercedes. She's an eight-month-old kitten. She's very, very shy. Um, not a mean bone in her body, but very shy. She needs an experienced cat owner, someone that will give her a lot of love and patience. She doesn't like a loud house. Um, I can't believe she's actually out right now. The kitty cats have gotten um, two small cat trees. Ringo and, and Sheba are on the cat trees, playing around. Their food supply is hidden back behind the refrigerator. That's where Bootsy and Mama are in the big crate. I unfortunately had to move them out of the bathroom into a big crate because I had family members move back into the house. Then over there we have an open crate. The crate's open um, with a blanket in it because the kittens like to go in there and just lay down. They have their litter box area over there. You have Sheena up sitting on top of the litter container, <laughs> grooming herself. We have Michaela walking around. Michaela is the only one of her litter that survived. I nursed her back to health. Um, she had two bite puncture wounds, one on her paw. It healed, but she's got a nail that grows in crooked, so she it might ha the one nail claw might have to be declawed. She got a really nasty infection on her neck from the puncture wound. It took me about two months to get her all healed up. She is the biggest love bug. If you have a recliner and you sit in it, this cat will be next to you, purring, loving on you, rubbing on you, and she will not move until you get up and move. She is the sweetest girl in the world. And then we have Licorice. He's my cat. He's kind of the mascot of the kitten room. He's actually full grown. He was, I fostered him for another rescue. He was very sick as a kitten. So he was rescued from a shelter, a very high kill shelter. And I just absolutely fell in love with him. But because he's so petite, he prefers it down here with the kittens instead of upstairs. So he's kind of the mascot of the kitten room. He greets all the new kittens, shows them the ropes takes care of them, and as you can see, they have tons and tons of toys. There's cat beds all over the place. I have on the sofas, blankets and stuff. They have a thousand square feet down here. Um, and this is their temporary home. So if you're interested in any of the kitties, let us know. You're more than welcome to come do a meet and greet. There's Polly still hiding and John's hiding, but they're probably off sleeping somewhere. As you can see, there's Mercedes again. She very seldom comes out when I'm filming. 